If this is your first time tuning in here on this channel, we talk about film, fashion, and photography, all three things that I love. My name is David Wilson II, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top three things that I learned on my first documentary. Now listen, y'all, there was a bevy of different things that I learned when shooting my first documentary. And number one is coverage. Coverage, coverage, coverage. You never wanna be in a position where you have wrapped, you told the crew or you told the individuals that you're doing the film with, hey, I think I'm good. I think we got all the shots that we need. And then you go away into the editing room and you don't have enough footage. So you wanna make sure that you have enough coverage. Now, the issue that I ran into was I don't, I don't feel like I didn't have enough coverage. I just felt like I didn't have enough different and diverse types of coverage. So make sure that if you are thinking about doing a documentary or a short film that you develop a shot list, that shot list will help you nail exactly what it is that you're trying to convey to the audience during certain times of the film and it will also help you in the editing room. So that was definitely something that I was a little bit scared of when I was editing. I don't want it to be something, I didn't want it to be something that was boring to the audience. So uh, just make sure that you have enough coverage and make take the time to make that shot list. I think it goes a long way. And comfortable where I'm at, not comfortable in where I'm complacent, but comfortable and confident that God is, is with me in this, in this season of the music that I'm making and it's it's just it's it's raw it's uncut i didn't change the message i just changed the method of how how i'm doing it and number two transitions now listen there are a bevy of different ways that you can utilize transitions to move a story along but the way that i discovered i like doing that is through ambient sounds and b-roll now ambient sounds will help you and help your audience understand where the story is going how your character is feeling i remember finding ambient sounds these undertones that i use for the documentary because this person was talking about their life and, and not that their life was bad or terrible but it might have been a low moment in their life where they didn't know how they were going to get out of it and so it just made perfect sense plus the b-roll now if you add b-roll to that and you're showcasing whatever's on the screen your audience is going to feel and hopefully understand what it is that you're trying to convey through the audio from the narration through the ambient sounds plus b-roll all of those things are working together which is why it's important to have a shot list to help you and your audience understand where the direction of the film is going so do a shot list and make sure to figure out ways to transition from one topic to the next last but not least lighting which is probably one of my favorite things that i took away from the short film simply because there were a ton of things that i had in my head lighting techniques all these different things that i was able to finally implement on this one project you know prior to this i had done a ton of client work that was more so required of me to shoot high key lighting and i wasn't able to like practice some of the people that i was studying you know roger deakins bradford young the you know, cinematographers who do it at the apex of filmmaking. And I was able to kind of see what they saw and be able to practice some of the techniques that I had been studying for months or for years. And I finally got an opportunity to be able to do that here. And uh, it's just an awesome experience to know that I can walk inside of any room now, you know, and I can pretty much light anything and just taking a look at where the lighting has come from. So there are so many things, so many analytical things that I learned and picked up as a filmmaker that you have to know when you're on a job or when you haven't seen the location and lighting plays a role into that. And so for me to be able to do that on my own with minimal setup, you know, I shot this thing on my GH5. It's just so important for people, filmmakers, aspiring photographers, people who are looking to do this to you know shoot their own personal projects now i have a, a project that i'm ex happy about that i'm excited to share and um is one of those things that you can be proud of you know years later so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're a person thinking about shooting that short film or documentary or whatever get out and shoot it don't care about what kind of gear you have just get out and shoot it and i promise you you're going to become a better filmmaker for it my name is david wilson the second and as always, start your day with giving because way too many people take. Sewn up.